it was it was horrible it was um it was just like it was like being trapped you know it started for me just from from moving house from moving from a one bedroom apartment into a house that we thought was going to be like the house um the dream the next step in our lives and everything and i got just really caught up in it um and the house was on a road uh and we moved in and there were a couple of things wrong with the house and then i picked up on this road noise and then it just, it just became a massive issue and i literally just felt like i was trapped in the house couldn't get away from it um blamed myself blamed my job um just thought if I had a better job, I'd have a better house, I'd have a better life. Just a lot of blame, a lot of just uncomfortable and just sleepless nights, tired all the time, you know, um, kind of getting home and just battling with it. Just just battling with this constant, what I just saw is just constant noise, constant problem, um, couldn't switch off and just felt like I couldn't get out either. And even if I wanted to get out, I didn't want to, because then I'd just have to come back home again as well and start it all over again. So just this vicious circle of just, cr yeah, craziness. It's, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like I, I'm just settled. I sleep. I think that was just the biggest thing, Shannon, with it. Um, just to actually, nothing, absolutely nothing has changed. It's the same house, it's the same environment. It's the same traffic, I guess, but it's just, it's not a problem. It never, I made it into almost like louder than it was or more of a problem than it was. Just happier in myself, just feeling myself kind of coming back to me. Um, I've got my, I've got my personality back. I've got my sense of humor, my wit. Yeah, just, it just feels like I've just come back to myself. I guess it's just, it's hard to put my finger on it, really. The biggest change was the was the first call before I even joined the program, which was with Nicola, and that first realization of your circumstances have got nothing to do with it. And the way she explained, if you're having scary feelings, you're having a scary, you're having scary thinking, you're having scary thoughts and that, for me was just a massive drop of like, wow, so I'm, I've just, I've just created this. And I just, I remember just in the call and all the way up to that moment, like anxious, uncomfortable, you know, head buzzing and um, just not settled and listening. And then it just, everything just dropped. Like anxiety just went and <clears throat> it was like the whole of me was almost just resetting. You know, there'd been a switch, something had flicked, and it was just like, just coming back up to me and who I was. Um, so that, that was like the big one. Just absolutely anyone, whatever this, the life situation is, whatever the circumstance is, you know, whether it's circumstance, whether it's just thinking, um, because it just makes sense. It's everything that I see now um, with people and everything that I see like in in work when anything comes up that is busy thinking or anxiety or stress or even like depression you know this you just you just kind of straight away it's like get on this program um, listen to the podcasts see what you think it's you can it can help anyone whatever stage you're at you know whether you are just having some busy thinking or you're getting caught up in your head or you get into a level where it's starting to become it's starting to take over just get on it it, it makes sense it works it's it's just great <laughs>